Hello, welcome to my first impressions review of this Fender Squire Affinity uh, Candy Pink Sparkle Stratocaster. It is um, pink. And what have we got? We've got a rosewood fretboard. We've got a maple neck and an older body with pink sparkle. Dual humbuckers with a three-way switch. A tone for each pickup and a volume and your pretty much standard cheapo tremolo system uh, and most importantly it says squire in pink all the settings on this guitar are exactly the same throughout the demo and all i'm doing is switching pickups <laughs> First up is a punk sort of style with a bridge pickup. Similar riff with the neck pickup. with both pickups. That's running Amplitude with a Marshall setting, which I'll show a screenshot of now. And let's run this through, let's do something different. Here's a clean setting on a Fender Deluxe Reverb Amp on Amplitude, and I've got the bridge pickup and tones at about eight and volumes all the way up. And here's the neck pickup. I've put it in drop D now and I'm going to go for something heavier and this is with a Mesa Boogie style amp, something like this. <laughs> Here's something a bit more classic using the Marshall style sound and I've rolled off the gain a little bit. That was the bridge pickup, here's the neck pickup. Here's both together. So this uh, first impressions review will be split into five sections. The first of which is looks and this thing is killer. Look at that. I mean, this is straight out of the box. I've done nothing to it. So it's still got the plastic stuff on the scratch plate. Being picky, we've got a little bit of blemishes inside the neck pocket, just, where is it, just there, and the other side, just there. But you're never gonna see that. And I would have uh, probably preferred a black scratch plate and black back plates. Probably change that out. 
The neck is a little bit knotty here. Number two, uh, playability. Well, first thing is that it doesn't stay in tune at all. Um, the intonation is not great and the action's too high. But this is straight out of the box. I've done nothing to it um, apart from tune it again and again and again. The neck is not my favorite. It's like a satin sort of finish and I prefer a sort of slippery feel. And this one still, it feels almost dusty or gritty. So I'm gonna to need to take some, some uh, four zero steel wool to that. And there's actually wood coming off as I'm pressing it there. It's a Strat, so it fits here. And you know, you've got all your access as you would expect on a Strat. Uh, I think it's a sort of a 70s style um, headstock. So I don't know if that makes any difference to playability, but it's my favorite of the headstock styles. Um, yeah, it plays. I'll need to lower the action and definitely set the intonation. It's currently got nine to 42 gauge strings on it. Um, as I said, it's, it's out of the box. Uh, the neck, I've tested it for um, any twists and it's not twisted. It is straight and I haven't discovered any high frets yet, but that's because the action is pretty high. When I lower the action, I'm also gonna check out the frets and probably do a redress. Um, so on to number three, which is sound. Uh, it's an older body, which it's not plywood or anything nasty like that. It sounds like a strap, but it's, it, it's got the humbuckers, but for me, it's, it's still that strap. Quackiness, but I think that's more to do with the scale length as well. I'm not really an expert on that. Pickups are not very good. For me, the bridge is too harsh and the neck is too woolly. And that's with, that's with tone on full. Number five, which is features. And number one feature is that it's pink and sparkly with black hardware. And number two, I guess, is that it's fitted with humbuckers, which is, let's say, unusual for a standard Strat. Final thoughts on this uh, guitar. I mean, the, the number one buying reason was the fact that it's pink and it's fun and it's, it is fun to play. Um, I think if I walked into a room of guitars and saw your standard Les Pauls and your standard Tellys and Strats and, and there was this thing sat in the corner, it would definitely get played at some point because it's kind of a, what the hell is that sort of guitar. Uh, it plays well, it sounds okay. Um, after a setup and maybe a pickup switch and maybe look at the electronics, it's, it's a very usable guitar. Um, I showed it to some students of mine and the uh, three teenage girls went absolutely crazy for it. They, oh my God, look at that. It's, it's brilliant. It's like, it's so pink and it's so cool. So um, that's just the first looks and first impressions. I'm going to do those changes that I've mentioned, lower the action, check the frets, definitely change the tuners because they're not staying in and um, change this bridge probably, maybe to a hardtail. And once I've done that, I'll make another video and also upload that to this channel. And yeah, so I'll be back. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.